This Linux distribution may be one of the best Linux distributions cosmetically. It is based on Ubuntu and uses the Deepin desktop environment. The Deepin desktop environment is like a mix of Mac and Windows. And of course, it has added some of its own features. Now let's take a look at their website. Actually, there is nothing different here. So let's click the download button and go to the download page. Source Forge will be the best option here. The connection to the others may be problematic. The ISO file is 3.2 GB, not very big. When we open the operating system from the ISO, we see a group menu like this. From here, you can open it normally by saying Ubuntu DDE start, or we can run it without a graphics card driver by saying safe graphic. We see a loading screen like this. After opening the operating system, we see a login screen like this. We can choose Wayland or Zelevan protocol at the bottom right. Next to it is our connection status, on-screen keyboard if our keyboard is not working, and our power button. Let's press enter and exit the lock screen. The desktop welcomes us with the startup sound. Without further ado, I will install the operating system direct. After the installation is complete, we will test the operating system. It was installed in almost 10 minutes without any errors. But the group menu did not appear, we had to open it manually. After the operating system opens, the login screen greets us. Let's type in our password and log into the system. First, let's start with the file manager. It is a nice looking file manager. If we enter any file and right click, a right click menu similar to Windows opens. Deepin Desktop Environment has its own gallery and music player. I really like the calendar. It is a very nice and functional application. When we enter the settings, we can set automatic or password free login from the account section. In the display section, there are standard display settings, brightness settings, night shift, color, temperature and adjustment, resolution, and other settings. In the default app section, we can choose our default programs. Although it is not as much as the KDE desktop environment in the personalization section, the Deepin desktop environment offers more customization options than known. In the theme section, we can customize our operating system as we want, with different color settings, light or dark theme, icon theme, cursor theme, and text settings sections. If we select the desktop section from the theme section at the top, we can change the dock mode, change the position, and set the always hide or smart hide feature. In the dock section, we can adjust the application icon size. In the window section, we can change the windows closing and opening animations. We can also adjust the transparency of the dock there. The other settings are standard settings. Only at the end, in the general settings section, we can customize the grub menu to a small extent. In the control panel section, we can see the applications running in the background and internet settings. If we click on the battery icon, it will take us to the power settings. We can change the battery settings here. But I was a little upset that there was no best performance in the power options. In general, we can increase or decrease the volume and screen brightness. We can search and find the application we want in the search section. But it only works to find applications. I Tried the files, but it did not find them. If you click on the clock, it opens the notification panel. And in the notification panel, we can add two widgets. One shows the clock, and the other shows how much RAM and CPUs the system uses. When we press the power button, there are shutdown, restart, and lock options. We can also open the task manager like in Windows. And I must say, it is a very nice and functional task manager. While we're on the subject, the system uses 10% of the CPU when idle, and the RAM usage is around 1.6 GB. These are pretty good values for such a beautiful and animated operating system. The application menu also works very nicely and smoothly. When we enter the App Store, we are greeted by all the applications available in Ubuntu's App Store. The only difference is that here is the Deepin Desktop Environments App Store program.
Deepin desktop environment has a nice terminal application itself, and it is much higher level than other terminals with its customizable options. If you click on three dots, we can change themes very quickly in the theme section. Then when we enter the settings section, we can change the opacity settings, font, font size of the terminal. And this terminal has an incredibly large number of shortcut options, and we can change each one as we wish. We can also adjust the appearance as we wish in the cursor section. And of course, we can add a blur effect to the background of the terminal. Since the beating heart of Linux is the terminal, and it offers so many options in its terminal, I really liked it. And the operating system itself comes with a bunch of wallpapers, each one more beautiful than the other. This isn't a very important detail, but it's a nice detail. Thanks for watching. If you want more distribution videos like this, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Likes don't mean anything to you, but they mean a lot to me. See you in other videos.